Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Universal Studios, more specifically the lower lot. Not only follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Kelly Butt. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. We're back at the lower lot over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for a taste of Universal. The lower lot has opened on Friday. Today is a beautiful Saturday over here at Universal Studios Hollywood, but take in all the views and nostalgia. We're back at the lower lot. Oh, I just miss all of this so, so much. There's a lot to talk about, a lot of updates to go over. We're gonna go over everything that's new over here at the lower lot. And then we're gonna uh, finish the day with the upper lot and then just fire it down at that point. But most importantly, a big addition that has been added over here at the lower lot is some Decepticons and some Autobots. You heard that right. There's a new meet and greet that has been added to the taste of Universal. And right now it's a Megatron. Let's go check it out. Spread your arms. If you can touch someone next to you, you're too close. Spread apart. Spread apart guys. Move along now. Spread apart. Megatron telling people to social distance. <laughs> This is so cool. We're back at the lower lot. I can't believe it. So here you can see they have social distance, the Megatron meet and greet, or just the Transformer in general. Uh, we had Bumblebee out here earlier. I'm still not sure if Optimus Prime is part of this or not, but we'll keep an eye out. Is this your big sister? You're joining me, big sis. We'll rule the world together. Rule the world together. Who is the human over there in those terrible patchwork pants? <laughs> those are the worst pants I've ever seen. Oh my god. Those are terrible pants. You're not going golfing anytime soon, are you? <laughs> well, I know I do. And it takes one terrible pant to know another set of terrible pants. <laughs> I'll let it slide this time, patchwork. <laughs> oh well. Megatron I shall call you Decepticon Peroxide. <laughs> Damn. Brought your wand, did you? Mm, what sort of magical spell you think would take down Optimus Prime? Alahamora. I'm not asking about animatronics. I'm asking about Optimus Prime. Look at you. So, Studio Cafe Bobby over here is as far as we could go in this whole area. They put barriers right next to Megatron over here. But one thing I do want to say is we could get a visual. They put up boards. That is where you would enter. I'll say speculation because we don't know yet. But that's where you would enter into Super Nintendo World. And this the entrance would be over here from Transformers. Oh, what's happening? Papuera! You raise your fist, my proud warrior. All hail Megatron! Megatron! Yeah! Look at this. Over here next to Megatron. Studio, Studio Scoop is not open, sadly. Hopefully, this gets added in the coming weeks. It's getting hot now, so uh, ice cream would definitely be a good addition to Taste of Universal. Uh, another one is the Studio Cafe, which is right there. That has not opened. And then sadly, Panda Express over here is still not open. So hopefully Panda opens soon. The one thing I was really hoping for at the lower lot that would open was Starbucks. Starbucks has not opened just yet. But this is the first weekend of all this uh, coming back to life, the lower lot. So maybe next week or in the coming weeks, Taser Universal gets a little upgrade and gets the lower lot going. And most importantly, this lower lot and the upper lot and the theme park as a whole gets going. We want the rides open, everybody. We want the rides. Just wanted to stand over here in front of the mummy. One of our favorite rides over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I so miss this ride. I miss it so much. The one thing, too, I thought was going to open was uh, Mummy Eats. This is where we like getting our French fries and hot dogs and all that stuff. But as I keep saying, hopefully in the coming weeks uh, for Taste Universal, 
uh, more things open up for this event. It would be awesome to use a tab over here, get some French fries and a hot dog. One of the stores that did open over here with the lower lot, uh, we have the merch store, which is studio store. We'll do a little walkthrough, a little preview of what's inside. Let's check it out. How you doing? We're good? Thank you. Oh, damn. We haven't been in here in so long. Oh, look at all these cups. Got some universal stuff. Let's keep, uh, let's check out all the merch. Got a nice sweater here. Got some Backlot Studio Tours merch. Hollywood or nowhere. <laughs> West Coast is the best coast. That's what I'm talking about. Over here at the studio store, they got all these spirit jerseys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's keep this adventure going and check out all the Jurassic World stuff. One of the biggest questions we got today is Isla Nubar open? And as you clearly see, the answer is no. I think it's a huge missed opportunity if they don't open this by next week. Because I can tell you right now, so many people, so many people, so many people that I've talked to today have all been like, we wanted to get a drink, it's hot. We want a drink so bad. And Isla Nubar is the prime location to get a cocktail. My favorite is always the Bird of Paradise or the Mai Tai. Those are really good. And they have some really good beers here as well. But maybe in the coming weeks of Taste of Universal, this could be an addition. It would be a perfect addition to Taste of Universal and a great reason to add to all the hype to come down here to the lower lot in this event. We're over here by the men's bathroom at the lower lot. But take a look. This is the closest I've ever been to the actual land of Super Nintendo World. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like super close. We've already seen the entrance area. Now we get to be by the walls. This is so cool. Up next, it's been over a year since we've been at Jurassic Cafe. We're gonna do the taste of Costa Rica. I'm gonna showcase what they have to offer for a taste of Universal. You can actually use your tabs here because here at Taste of Universal, you get five tabs on your ticket. And then you could use those at all of the restaurants that are uh, available for Taste of Universal. And Jurassic Cafe is actually one of them. And over here at Jurassic Cafe, they actually got some desserts. They have cereal crispy treats. They have two of those. They have a triple chocolate chip cookie that's vegan. And then these options too, they're vegan as well. Spice cashew brittle. And then a chocolate s'mores cupcake. These are the options that are available. You get an Isla burger, Isla chicken sandwich. They have a Beyond cheeseburger. They have a salad. The barbecue brisket, smoked turkey leg chicken tenders. Those are all the items for Tasty Universal. And then to showcase the size of the turkey leg, look at that! Oh my gosh, that is one tab! That is so much turkey! <laughs> Over here at Jurassic Cafe, I got the Jurassic Isla Burger. Can't wait to try it out, see how it stands up to the Krusty Burger, see which one's better. Got high hopes for Jurassic Cafe. I love the food over here. We also got the chicken sandwich. Let me show you guys. Here we got the chicken sandwich. Look at the size of this thing. So the portion size over here at Jurassic Cafe are Jurassic, let me tell you. My goodness, this is crazy. The, the, the next thing is, is it worth it? Is it good? Let's try it out. Get a couple bites in and get some reviews. So it's been a long time since I've been at Jurassic Cafe and man, oh man, got some Jurassic portions. <laughs> and most importantly, there's outdoor dining over here at the rocks of Jurassic World. Look at this, this is my view today. So cool. I wish the ride was running and testing, but can't ask for everything, can't ask for everything. But man, it's just cool to be back over here at the lower lot, enjoy a nice meal over here at the Taste of Universal. All right, let's see uh, if these are good or not. Burger. This is like twice the size of the Krusty Burger. I, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be hungry if I was to eat all this. Okay, one thing I will say about the Isla Burger over here at Jurassic Cafe, the bun, it's all right. The burger patty's good. The coleslaw or whatever, whatever they put in this, this stuff, I'm not sure what that's called. It just the flavor doesn't come through in my opinion. 
even with the ketchup, it's still kind of a little meh. I'm gonna have to give this one three fires. The crusty burger definitely wins the game in regards to the burger battle. All right, up next, we're gonna try the chicken sandwich, which I have high hopes. This is my favorite thing from Jurassic Cafe last time I was here. So I'm really excited because they got this sauce too. Look at that. Ooh. Can't wait to try this. Wow, as soon as I bit that, all the flavor came through so good. trying the burger and now the chicken sandwich over here at Jurassic Cafe by far this is five fires I love to want to emphasize when you come to taste the universal bring a hydro flask or uh, a big water bottle because every time you eat somewhere you're most likely gonna come out of pocket and pay for a drink which is five six bucks when you can just bring your own water bottle save money on that end because they're not offering water cups you have to buy a bottled water, bottled soda, whatever, uh, uh, alcohol beverage. Bring a water bottle. I highly recommend bring a water bottle to taste of Universal. Just got done eating over here at Jurassic Cafe. Loved the food, the burger was all right, but the chicken sandwich was five fires. So good. Just wanted to walk up as close as I can to Jurassic World to ride. Man, all the memories we have. The Five Fire community in the early days, this is where it all started. This is where so many great memories were made, all with the Jurassic World updates. This is literally where Five Fires was born, the YouTube channel. All right, up next, we got Jurassic Outfitters. It's actually open. We're gonna check out some of the Jurassic World merch and then just do a couple, uh, just a nice little walkthrough. Now making my way over here to Jurassic Outfitters. I just want to say, listen to the noises. There's so much dinosaur action. Because right on the other side right here is Predator Cove. I know they're not testing or anything, but man, that audio. You think there's like a hundred dinosaurs out here. One of the things I want to mention as well, a big refurbishment has happened. As you can see, the railings, they've all been painted, repainted. I could imagine they've worked on a, some of the kinks out too. I'm not sure if those tires are new, but they all look uh, definitely newer than the last time I was here. What I wanna know is if they've been testing at any point in the last like couple months. I know there's no water, but man, I wish they didn't close that off. I wish, I, I wanna know what's in there. I want the full body of Dominus Rex. I want to see it. I want to know if it's here. I want to know if it's here. <laughs> Gosh, it feels so good. So glad to be back. I'm so happy. Just hearing this music. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Five fires for Jurassic World the ride. All right, let's go to Jurassic Outfitters. We're having too much fun out here. Too much fun. some hats with the Isla Nublar. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa. Let's see if there's anything new. So we have some cool t-shirts and then a nice sweater. I feel like this is new. I've I never seen this before here at Jurassic Outfitters. It's a Minico figure of a T-Rex. Also got some Legos. Ha, John! We got the Indoraptor over here. That's pretty cool. And then they are selling this shirt again right here. Whoa! 
Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure with the Indominus Rat. So it's been a long time since we've been in here at Jurassic Outfitters. Just checking out all the toys. And then this shirt, I have I've worn it too many times. So I think I might buy a new one. Definitely need a new one of the Mosasaurus. But man, are we gonna see you soon? Are we going to see you soon in the ride, Indominus Rex? Is there a full Indominus Rex in the ride, huh? <laughs> so we can actually walk to the back of Jurassic Outfitters. Can we see what's an Indominus? Can we see what's in Predator Cove? I wish, I wish. <laughs> Man, it just feels good to be back. Hopefully one of these tastes of Universal, they start testing Jurassic World. That'd be so cool. That'd be a dream come true. Checking if the raptors are there. Are the, where are the raptors? Where are the raptors? <laughs> yeah. Got a stegosaurus skeleton right here for $250. See, this is where it's at right here. Look at that. If you want this full scene, 5,000 bucks. But tell me, come on, how cool would that be to have at the house? <laughs> this is the one I've been eyeing for a while right here. I've been eyeing this one for a long time. Just can't justify spending the 325, you know what I mean? Yeah, imagine saying that name three times fast. Oh, they've escaped. No! The Raptors! Where are the Raptors? Also got this shirt right here. I've got my eye on you. We have blue. We even got a baby blue Funko Pop. That's pretty cool. Got a nice spirit jersey. Full body Dominus. This is something I've never seen before. It's blue. <laughs> so cool. And then on the left, of the entrance of Jurassic Outfitters. This is the themed to the ride. See, look, this is the battle we were looking for and we never got it. We never got it. Hopefully when the ride reopens, we get this battle. And finally for the big main event, Jurassic World the Ride updates. Heck yeah. So cool. So the first thing to note, I just want to say, update-wise, we got some new painting. I could imagine some refurbishment has been done on these jets, the railings. Looks like we even got new tires. Look at that. So the ride could stop even better than it was stopping the times before. And even, even the water cannons got paint. So can those come back in some type of fashion once the ride reopens. Currently the ride is closed. They don't want nobody to look in there, period. The big question is, has that neck of an Indominus Rex, where it was just a neck, has that been changed out? Are we gonna get a full body Indominus Rex? That is the question we've all been asking for a long time. And now that the ride's been closed and the refurbishment could happen, I would say yes, maybe they finally completed the ride. The other big thing is we got some suspicions that Predator Cove got a lot of updates. So we'll see what, what updates come from that once this park opens in the near future. There's no date that has been announced just yet for Universal Studios Hollywood, but I can imagine they're gonna open up soon. We just wanted to give you guys some of that nostalgia, some of the Five Fire nostalgia, because this is where the Five Fires YouTube channel was born. 
literally right here. <laughs> oh man, hopefully for one of the Taste of Universals in the coming weeks, uh, they could turn on the water, turn on the ride. Maybe even Blue could meet, be a meet and greet. They could definitely do a safe meet and greet with Blue over here. Man, so much opportunity for the future Taste of Universals. So cool, so cool. One thing before I forget, they did end up charging parking. So even if you're for a Taste of Universal, you still get charged 10 bucks parking. Uh, and I think the premium, the VIP parking is like 20 bucks. So I just want to get that information out there. There has been a change now. It sucks, but it is what it is. It's 10 bucks now to park over here for Taste of Universal and City Walk in general. It just feels so crazy to be back here at the lower lot, literally at the lower lot. It's a great feeling, very, very great feeling. I do hope Raptor Encounter could come back. We could get Blue as a meet and greet. It would be so awesome. Yeah. I remember when all of this was being built back in the day. <laughs> I'd say back in the day, it was only like a year and a half ago, two years. And then this has finally been completed. This is where we get the Triceratops meet and greet. It's one of my favorites. Hopefully the Triceratops could come out. You never know, I don't know. We'll see, things are gonna change a lot if we could get into orange tier, which would be a big move, big, big move. One of the big differences now when you're on the lower lot, you can't help but see Super Nintendo World just pop up over all the walls over here. That wasn't there the last time I was here. The only thing that existed back a year and one month ago was the creation of that show building right there. Now look at that. That's all in the Super Nintendo world. And these updates are just coming like crazy. Gosh, it's good. It feels so good to be back. So good to be back over here at the lower lot. Oh man, one of the last few degrees of the day over here. We're gonna have Bumblebee from the Autobots. We're about to roll out. This is so cool. We got Bumblebee. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I feel good. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> Beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> How you doing, Bumblebee? I'm part of the Autobots as well here on Earth. <laughs> so cool. We're glad to have you back, Bumblebee. It's been over a year. We missed you. <laughs> All right, Bumblebee. So for the Taste of Universal, I don't even know what happened at the upper lot, but I made a B-roll all the way down here, and I've just been down here ever since. <laughs> I think it's about 5.30 right now. This is going to be uh, my final walkthrough over here at uh, the lower lot. But man, I, I, I could hang out here all day, to be honest. Even though I know we don't got rides and stuff, just a nostalgia aspect. Oh, I miss you, Lower Lot. See you soon. See you soon, Lower Lot. Especially you, Jurassic World The Ride. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Upper Lot. Here we got a good view at the Halloween Horror Night house. That's a speculation behind Mummy. From the last time we were here, which was opening week Taste of Universal, no changes have been made. But just want to show a visual for all the Halloween Horror Night fans. And I'm hearing a lot of good word that this year might be a possibility, everybody. So that's the speculative entrance of Super Nintendo World. And then I'll shoot you into this area. Just incredible to see all of this. 
one thing I do want to know, which that is the high point right there. Let me get my finger. That's the high point of Super Nintendo World. When you're actually on the lower lot over there, right, right there, looking at that high point, it doesn't seem that high. <laughs> like the, the, the scale is uh, actually not that incredibly high. Um, I was I was thinking when I was down there that it was gonna be like towering, but it doesn't feel towering in my opinion. That's just a first speculation, you know. Who knows how things feel when you're actually inside the middle of that land. Because Super Nintendo World is not huge by any means, but they are adding a lot of scale and height to the land. So when you're in there, everything's gonna look just so much bigger from perspective uh, aspect, in my opinion. All right, let's keep the adventure going to the upper lot of Tasty Universal. So I was getting a lot of questions about the lower lot and if it was possible for parties that are in a wheelchair to go to the lower lot, the answer is yes. Uh, you have to ask these cast members or these team members right here. They'll put you in an elevator, take a shuttle bus to the lower lot, but it's only one party at a time. So it might be a little slow, but you know, we're all understanding on that end because of what, the times that we're in but it is a possibility so i want to get that information out there if you are in a party uh, that cannot do the, the escalator or the stairs there is still a possibility where you take the elevator down and then a shuttle bus will take you down shuttle bus will bring you back and then you would come up through an elevator back to the upper lot making our way now to the upper lot just want to enjoy some of the views over here at crusty Land, simpsons land ah oh, the nostalgia and as I want to remind everybody, all this is outdoor dining for this event, Taste of Universal. It's kind of lonely right now. Uh, it's about 5.45 or so. Maybe everybody's at Minion Cafe and uh, the, Harry, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Because this event was pretty packed earlier, too. You best believe we're not going to miss out. We're not leaving this event without getting a Krusty Burger. <laughs> Hell yeah. No line, too. Over here at Krusty Burger, these are the items that you can choose from, number one through five. Highly recommend Krusty Burger and highly recommend Sideshow Bob Footlong. Things incredible. Incredible. And over here at Krusty, they have vegetarian vegan option, which is the Mother Nature. So that's part of one of the tabs you could get over here. Finally making my way over here by Lard Lad Donuts. And I wanted to get a donut, but the line is too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it would at least be at least 30 minutes or more i'm running low on time got a hot date with the mystery bay today so we're gonna be firing it down so i just want to show a little bit more nostalgia going over here to the wizarding world of harry potter so i have two more trips lined up i think one of my trips i might just hang out here at the wizarding world of harry potter the whole time I'm not even lying because I just want to appreciate this land once again. Today, just wanted to show a little bit of it. Got to keep this adventure going. It's like a tiny city. Like, Hello, hi, what's up? <laughs> what's up, I said? Don't get it. Enjoy the day. Oh, man, I love that. Did you guys get some waffles? Maybe some fried bugs? Shrek loves that. Or oh, did I make the baby crass out of it? <laughs> you want to turn around and take a picture? Yeah, all right, let's do it, man. Hot dog, love a soul, the true fairy tale. Have a good day, Donker. We're ending our day over here with Waterworld construction update. So, from a long time ago, we've all been saying this is going to be a Halloween Horror Nights house. And. The big thinking is, yes, this has all stayed up since last year. Just like the one over there behind Mummy, it was never taken down. Let me show you a funny update. Last time we were here, the reason we say it's a Halloween Horror Night house is because that sign right there, looks like they covered it up right now. But that's what leads us to believe it is a Halloween Horror Night house. I wish you could see what's inside, but then that'd be no fun, right? Hopefully the big thing that we get this year, I still don't know if it's a possibility, is Midsummer Scream because that's where a lot of the houses get announced for Halloween Horror Nights. But I don't know under the pandemic and just the, just the tough regulations that 
events like that are in. I don't know if they could do uh, a, a Midsummer Scream this year, but it would be amazing. We miss horror. It's been so long. Not having that ultimate Halloween last year, it hurt. <laughs> but we're definitely hyped up for next year. And the big speculation that we have all said in this, this house, uh, I kept saying Halloween. I don't know what Halloween, what version. Could we get Halloween kills? A lot of people are saying Halloween 3. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Hopefully we find out soon. We find out soon. What an amazing day we had over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for a taste of Universal. The lower lot is where we spent all our day and it was totally worth it. Got to be Megatron, Bumblebee, just be near all the magic of Jurassic World the ride. It was incredible. We got to try Jurassic Cafe, which we haven't had that food in so, so long. It's just been an incredible day. I'm so happy to be back at Universal Studios Hollywood. We have a couple trips planned still uh, in the coming future for Taste of Universal, just in case more updates happen. Because a lot of things are changing. A lot of things are changing. The Universal has yet to still announce an opening date. Hopefully that comes soon. Because we, we want to have like that build the hype, you know what I mean, for opening day, which we're, I'm definitely going to do my best to come that day. One thing I do want to say, and I've heard this many times from different team members of Universal Studios Hollywood, they wanted to express how great Universal treated everybody that worked here full-time, part-time when the pandemic went down. Universal truly cared about their workers and didn't want to let anybody go. And they treated many people fairly and above and beyond during the pandemic when times were rough, so much uncertainty was happening. And that many of these cast members or team members here just wanted to express to me, to the Five Fire community, that Universal Studios cares. They care about their workforce. They care about their team members. So Five Fires for Universal Studios Hollywood and just caring about the workforce here, man. And overall, I just want to say thank you, Five Fires community, for all the support that you guys bring. It's been incredible. I met so many kind people today here at Taste of Universal, and thank you to everybody that said hi. I appreciate all the kindness that came my way. It was just overwhelming, and I'm so thankful to, and appreciative of it all. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. All right, everybody, don't forget to hit that like button on the way out, but we are farting it down, farting it down. The Cali Bank is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Uh.